Hello, my name is Luis Bianco. In this video I will talk about Busnell TRS-25 Tactical Red Dot with riser. Uh, they also sell the same item without the riser. If you're not gonna put it on a R15, uh, this one gonna be mounted on a pistol build in 5.56 caliber R15. Uh, we're gonna have a look a bit on the box first. As you get that, this what it is gonna look like. We have a three MOA dot. Uh, this one is only in the red. Extra long battery life, waterproof, fog proof, 11 position brightness control. That's pretty good. 11, 11 uh, positions. On the other side, we have some applications. Extra long battery life. As we open the box, uh, we have some paperwork below or in between is the lens cleaning cloth. Then in a plastic bag, we have the sight. In the other compartment we have the riser if your item comes with a with a riser they gonna sell that without it too. Then we have typical Allen wrench that is needed and uh, a piece of form and that's it. As we look on the paperwork first uh, that is just a card for register it. Then we have the manual for the TRS25 red dot site. I'm gonna show that manual in the video. I think that is really important because in the future maybe somebody end up without the manual and need that. You can always stop the video. comes with the typical riser for R15 style firearms. Uh, zeroing is also easy as with all other scopes. One year limited warranty. And then it comes in French. We only gonna cover the the English version, then it comes in Spanish. And they even have it on German. Amazing. German one we do for our German speaking friends here on the channel. I have no idea if that item is available much in Germany. Uh, for sure it's gonna be Pretty expensive. Uh, those ones here were on sale over Christmas, New Year, uh, Thanksgiving time from Palmetto State Armory, but other places had that as well. So the German one did it cover too, and uh, maybe the manual is also on the website busnell.com there. Now to the item we have small, really tiny actually, red dot. If you need, if you look for a, for a red dot that goes really tight on the weaver rail, uh, that's quite likely one of the items I would have a look at it. Uh, I did do a video on the hinge of the AK-47 and there I did put on first uh, uh, another uh, red dot and uh, then I did switch to this one because it simply is way more lower on the on the rail there way way nicer to aim so that is pretty nice it comes with rubber lens cover like that and then we see the the part below we have the, the typical 
rail mount for the allen wrench so you can mount that directly on the on the weaver rail or you use the riser which is basically an adapter to make the whole thing a bit higher we have the typical adjustments uh, this one is for up and down uh, clearly marked with up and the arrow needs a bit grease there to save on the thread and it has nice rubber o-rings there so it's watertight the left and right is the same uh, the item if you're gonna use it it's basically watched in from here so you see where the zero is and the dot there uh, like this would be 11 and and the uh, on and the uh, yeah they put already the battery in it otherwise it would be in the box so we're gonna have a look uh, we see now it is in red 11 so that's the maximum that it where we have it there we have it that it's gonna get it depends then we go to 10 9 8 seven six five four three two and one is the dimmest uh, remember because of the camera that may not give a correct impression on how bright it actually is and all that uh, if you are really interested have a look by a gun store or by a gun show how it is uh, to change the battery it's in here so we simply unscrew it and then we see this here it's a CR2032 uh, again so pretty simple I need to put on the, the date as I put it in there and also put a bit of uh, grease on the thread we see there the rubber O sealing so that is pretty good protected as you start putting the, the head on the screw there you need to make sure it's flat and not angle it otherwise the thread is easy messed up and not over tight tighten it I usually do it by hand you can use a screwdriver or better a coin as well so pretty small pretty nifty the riser is also nicely done it's hollow inside so the weight is not too much uh, basically what we have is the weaver rail on top and a uh, clamping part of the weaver on the bottom so we can clamp those parts together I'm gonna quick do that you simply need to loosen it up a bit then then the item goes on in the middle we see the the slot here goes where the, the screw is then we hold it like that and this of course can be reversed as well uh, as we see I put it on like this so then you need to tighten the screw which clamp the action I just do it a little bit and then you have the riser on it then you have the same deal over here to to clamp on the weaver rail wherever you wanna wanna mount it and uh, the good thing here is you can do that with a screwdriver or with a coin you don't need a uh, allen wrench so that is for sure nice in the field to take it on and off whatever happened you can do that uh, the item on the firearm look like this of course you are free wherever you wanna put it on if you want to go more backward or even more forward as you feel like it it's simply clamped on with the 
screw part in the middle here in one of the grooves and since the the rail has so many grooves you are free to position it wherever you like to also you can add on uh, open metal sides here folding ones that have a corresponding height that you can actually use them with the red dot in place or you can simply take it off using a simple simple uh, screw there uh, that build here I simply put quick together it's not yet finished like that uh, some parts are still missing and I just grabbed it for put on the red dot side to show a bit how that's gonna look like uh, if you work with firearms or other items if you build things that always needs time you need to wait on different parts on different chances to work on it or to to do certain things uh, like like the the break that came from china that had about three weeks but it was a deal the bottle needed some work on the late and a bead blast finish so that is just to quick show how the red dot would look on a R15 upper. The, the rest is still gonna be taken apart and reworked a bit more. So that much about the Busnell TRS25. Uh, for sure a nice optic, nice compact optic if you have if you want to have something that is not too much in the way. Uh, can be also mounted of course on a on a shotgun or a firearm where you would like to have more a really compact optic and uh, for that for that it is really nice